In this lesson, we're going to learn how to join some uh, individual lines into one polyline. Now, I'm nearly finished with uh, this object on my screen. I just need to do some uh, line cleaning. And to do that, I'm going to launch the trim. And I'm going to select all of those as cutting edges. Right click and delete these and these and these. I'm going to press escape. Now, take a close look. These are our individual lines here. We've got, I want to turn this into one polyline and into one object. To do that, we're going to use the p edit comma command, p edit command, uh, and the modify panel of our ribbon. Here's the edit polyline, and after we've launched that, we select one of these lines, and AutoCAD tells us, "Hey, this is not a polyline." Do you want to turn it into one? We say yes. In fact, that's uh, what we want to do. We're going to right click and select join and there's a number of other options we can select but we're interested in the join command here and we're going to select all of these lines and right click to select that and press escape now as we see now this is one object we can move it as one object or uh, we can fill it easily and do a lot of other things I'm going to press escape let's see one of those practical example uh, on the p edit command Here's my MP3 player, and we're going to fillet these lines around the keys. And as you see, these are individual lines, and we want to fillet all these segments. But uh, if we do it as a one polyline, it's going to be very much a uh, easier and faster. I'm going to press escape for now. I'm going to go to the modify panel and uh, edit polyline and select one of those and right click select join and select all of these. I really can't hurt anything uh, as I'm selecting too much because AutoCAD is going to join the lines that meet from end to end and if there's any gap or any overlap it's not going to be joined. I'm going to right click to accept that. I'm going to press escape. Now that we have joined this I'm going to launch the fillet command give it a radius of 0.15 enter and right click one more time and select the polyline and select this polyline as you see if you wanna move copy or even fill it several related entities we can do that much faster uh, when we're doing it uh, doing it as a uh, one polyline and we can use it as an advantage uh, to ourselves. 